you have the socks and all the tanks to it. So let's go do that. First, take out the old dirty socks. When we go in back, we know how many of those socks that we need to bring back out and put in the tanks. This is a lengthy process. Then you have the felt kind, which would catch all the tiny stuff that the mesh one didn't catch. And then I also checked on our little friend in here who's waiting for his tail to grow back. Oh, yeah. How's he doing? He's doing wonderfully. <laughs> Squirt. Say hi. Here he is. Is it growing? It is growing. It is growing. Yay. Okay, so we got a massive saltwater fish order in last night. Allie worked very hard late into the night putting them all away. Now this morning, it's time for me to do what I do. A lot of you guys ask what we feed our fish, and I generically pretty much tell you everything that's in this freezer. Uh, I'm gonna show you what we do to feed all the new coming fish. First off, clams in a half shell. They're a must for the finicky eaters. We don't know who's gonna eat and who's not. These will stay in the tank for an extended period of time during the day. It gives the shy guys a chance to eat. Second, we got some bigger predators in. Use monster mix for them. We didn't get a whole heck of a lot of them, so we're not gonna put in all that much. But everybody needs to eat today, so there's something for that. For the very small little guys, we mix in fish eggs. They have very small mouths. They can't eat some of the bigger food. Fish eggs work very well for them. Our standard, big chunk of ocean plankton. Pretty much everybody eats this. Our main food for sustenance we use is the mice's shrimp. Almost everybody devours this stuff, no matter what size or herbivore, carnivore, whatever, they pretty much all devour this. So we put more of this in than any of the other stuff. And last but not least, for the herbivores, we have spirulina brine shrimp. Put a bunch of that in there. Okay, this is going to defrost for a few hours. Once it defrosts, we're going to strain it. Once it's strained, put in a little bit of garlic guard. A lot of people say this is for parasites. Honestly, the smell of the garlic gets the finicky eaters to go after food more readily. That's why we use this product. We also put in this product called Vitacount. It's another thing that entices them to eat. It's also very good to get their immune systems back up because they had a rough 24 hours when they got shipped. We want them getting to you as healthy as possible. And the last thing we do is a combination of Focus, Metroplex, and Canaplex. It all gets mixed together in a powdered form. Once the food is strained and defrosted, we mix this in with the food for the first three days that they're here, just to make sure to be ahead of the curve in case there is anything wrong with them. Then we give them a break from this, unless some symptoms show up, and then they all get this in their food again for another two to three days. So basically, that is how we go about feeding a new shipment that comes in in the morning. As most of you know, we really, all of us here, enjoy getting you into the proper aquarium for whatever your need may be, whether it be a four gallon to a 400 gallon. We all also enjoy decorating the tanks. If you don't like the way a tank is decorated on the floor, we will take everything out of there and redecorate it for you with anything you choose out of this room. There's a lot of stuff in here. Everybody's got different tastes. Or if you like the way the tank is decorated as is, you can have it like that as well. For you people that already have tanks set up and you didn't realize that artificial plants look so realistic now or you just wanted to change it up, we set up this room. We have different sized mats to match whatever size aquarium you have. You basically take the mat out, 
you build your tag out of the stuff that's in this room, take a few pictures of it, go home and reassemble it. It makes redoing your tag very easy and you have plenty of time to do whatever you want, set it up. It's about aquarium stand height, so that's pretty much what it's going to look like when you get it home and reassemble it. So I know Ernie talked about this room, but also on our main floor, our show floor over there, all those dry tanks, anything in there is up for grabs. So we kind of poured all the good pieces ourselves because we like them so much. So we put them in our giant display tanks out there just so we can give you an idea of what a tank could look like. So if you see any wood, rock, or so I know we have those really tall grass plants in there. If you're interested in any of those, feel free to ask us. We can grab it for you. Don't hesitate. And don't forget to go see Joe and Allie up at our Seaconk location. Fresh water only, but it's a beautiful store. Well worth checking out. Have a great day.